This is Carl Zakarian with NetFocus Technologies. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we use the LinkRunner AT4000 to install a surveillance camera system at a business site. The LinkRunner AT4000 is an advanced copper and fiber network testing, diagnostics, discovery, and mapping tool. A few product highlights, automatically discover, inventory, and document network infrastructure devices endpoints, and connection paths. It can do path analysis at layer 2 and 3, connection path across multiple VLANs and subnets. It can also do network cable testing with wire map view. It can also verify link speeds from 10 megabits to 10 gigabits, test PoE, identify connected switch port and VLANs. It also has a built-in packet capture for analysis network reachability tests with ping and TCP testing. It shows the status of each test that it's running. It displays the IP, the gateway, DNS, DHCP, and response times. It comes with a 5-inch color touchscreen with a resolution of 720 by 1280. The dimensions of it is 4 by 7.7 by 1.65 inches. The weight of the device is about one pound. Typical battery runtime is eight hours. Here is our network topology. The network environment has a firewall connected to the internet provider, a 52 port gigabit switch, and a 10 port PoE gigabit switch. There is a trunk link running from the 10 port switch over to the 52 port switch. Another trunk link runs from the 52 port switch over to the LAN side of the firewall. We're going to use the 10 port PoE switch and connect the security cameras to it. We will assign the security cameras to VLAN 20 with a subnet range of 192.168.20.x. The first camera that we connect will be connected to the first port on our switch. To start off, we connect the Link Runner 4000 into port 2 on our PoE switch. Next, we'll perform network discovery of the environment by tapping on the discovery icon. From here, we navigate to the three dots in the upper right corner, select Refresh Discovery, and then Clear and Rerun Discovery. This will begin performing a fresh network discovery of all the devices we have on the network. You can see here, the Link Runner AT4000 has started to discover network devices. Scrolling through this list, we see that our firewall gateway for VLAN 20 is on 192.168.20.1. Scrolling further, we see that the security camera is assigned an IP of 192.168.20.120. If we tap on the video camera, we can verify that the security camera is in fact assigned the IP address of 192.168.20.120. Looking further, we can see that the camera is plugged into port G1 and is assigned to VLAN ID of 20. We can also dig further into the switch settings by tapping on the blue link labeled switch 2. Looking at things from the switch's perspective, we can see things like VLANs and trunk port assignment. Tapping on the VLANs headings shows us the VLANs that have been created on the switch. From this screen, we can see our default VLAN 1, 20, 100, and 150. We can go back to the previous screen by tapping on the back button. We can now go into the interfaces screen to verify port speeds, VLAN assignment, and our port trunk assignment. As you may recall, our security camera is on port G1 and it shows a status of up and the speed is auto-negotiated to 100 megabits per second. The VLAN ID assigned to this port is 20. Scrolling further down, we see that one of our ports, XG10, has multiple VLANs assigned to it. This is noted with the plus 3 next to the VLAN ID. This must be our trunk port. So let's verify that by tapping on the XG10 label, we could see more information. At the top of the screen, we see that we are connected to our downstream switch on port 11. 
Below that, we see the VLANs assigned to our XG10 port. Tapping on the VLANs heading, we see that this port is assigned VLANs 1, 20, 100, 150. This verifies and validates that this is our trunk port, since a trunk port can carry multiple VLAN IDs. Going back to our previous screen, we are shown the statistics heading. Tapping on that shows us the utilization on XG10 port the number of discards, errors, packet count broken down by unicast, broadcast, multicast, and so forth. Going into the auto test screen, we can create profiles to test PoE requirements, DHCP, DNS, and gateway response times, along with DNS queries, port speed verification, and much more. For this auto test profile, we are looking for class 3 PoE, DHCP, DNS, and gateway response times. Going into our PoE test, we could see that we requested class 3 PoE and we received 13 watts with true power, and our results are a success. On the previous screen, we could see that we are connected at 1 gig on our switch. DHCP responded in 6 seconds, DNS responded in 23 milliseconds, and our average firewall response is around 1 to 2 milliseconds. These tests performed fairly quickly, giving us fast, accurate results. Path analysis will show us the path data packets will take to get to a target destination. In this instance, we want to know how the cameras will reach our firewall gateway of 192.168. 20.1. To proceed, we tap on the Start button. Starting from the LinkRunner AT4000 wired port, we go into our switch on port 2, we exit out of XG10 trunk port, and into our core switch on port 11. We come out of port 13 and into our firewall gateway of X0. Notice the response times are also shown as we get to our firewall gateway. By knowing the path your packets take to get to their destination helps you in validating your configuration and setup. We can perform a network cable test by connecting an Ethernet cable to our LinkRunner 4000 and selecting cable test from the main screen. After the cable test is performed, the results are shown with good indicating the cable pair pins match on both ends. The cable test also shows us the approximate cable length. Moving on to our network performance test with iPerf3, we tap on the iPerf icon, go to the gear icon at the top right corner. And here we put in our iPerf3 server IP. The duration of this test is 10 seconds. The protocol will be TCP. For our performance test thresholds, we want to make sure we can obtain at least 100 megabits for upstream and downstream. Once the parameters are set, we could tap on the start button to begin our performance test. Our maximum upload speed test is at 775 megabits. As seen here, the red dotted lines represents our threshold of 100 megabits, which was met without any issues. Our maximum download speed test is at 762 megabits. As seen here, the red dotted lines represent our threshold of 100 megabits. Our performance test has a status of success, letting us know everything went well. Lastly, we can perform a packet capture of the video camera system and evaluate them in Wireshark. To perform a packet capture, we tap on the capture icon on the screen. Then, we tap on the start button to begin a packet capture. The LinkRunner AT4000 will begin capturing the packets at full line rate. We will let this run for a few minutes and then open it up in Wireshark. We opened up our video capture in Wireshark. We are filtering on video camera stream ID of zero. Going into the statistics menu, we can go under conversations to see what IPs are talking to which devices on our network. Here we can see that our video camera is talking to our NVR system on dot four. To check and see what ports are being used by our video camera, we click on the UDP tab. 
We can see that our camera ending in dot 120 is using ports 28174 and 28176. This is a good way to validate what ports are open on our camera system. All right, this brings us to the end of this demonstration. I want to thank you for watching this video. Take care. See you on the next one.